got great news. All-wheel drive and four-wheel steering is not just for the super rich anymore. Now the super poor can have it too. Thanks to today's project on Handyman Corner. So I figured between these two K cars, they should be able to make almost one drivable vehicle. That's because a K car has no real frame to speak of and the front wheel drive. You could say it's spineless with a lot of dead weight at the back end. It's really the Dalton Humphrey of automobiles. First thing we gotta do is downsize each of these babies. It's the exact opposite of the way they downsize the government. We're gonna keep the part that works. together and there's nothing worse than nailing a speed bump only to have your back end break off and start chasing you and there we have the makings of our four-wheel drive all-wheel steering vehicle and here's an added bonus stick the back ends together you got yourself a dandy portable garden shed okay the big jobs are all done now we just have the minor details of connecting the two sets of controls <laughs> Okay, now this took a bit of brain work, but I think I'm okay now. Uh. See, for both cars to work together, you gotta get the one doing the exact opposite of what the other one is doing. Kind of like a marriage. So I got the steering wheels hooked together so that when I turn this one to the left, the other one goes to the right. This baby turns so sharp, you gotta back off on the gas or you'll run into yourself. Same thing with the turn signals. I signal right on my end. But the real trick is the gear shift. I hook them up so that when I go into drive at my end, it goes into reverse at the other end. Oh, sure, I got a couple of problems, like I got no trunk, no brake lights, and no exhaust pipe. But that's a small price to pay to be driving with cutting-edge technology. So remember, if the women don't find you... <laughs>